Red Channel Condition presents Psychotica, a free audiobook. Chapter 4 Jack in the Box. It is good to be back, I gotta tell you. Lore said, patting himself down and examining his body before eventually grabbing and jostling his crotch, then resuming eye contact with Dr. Bashir. Fully functional! Eee! Of course, the only reason Starfleet reassembled me was to clean up one of their messes. But I try not to look a gift horse in the mouth, Bashir. Bashir's face took on a puzzled expression as he examined the android. You know, I actually met your brother once. He's actually the model of stability. It's hard to believe you two are related, let alone that he's become a rampaging psychopath. We have something of an eccentric family, Bashir. Lore replied. Unamused, Sloan interrupted. One last thing you need to know, Doctor. In the 23rd century, Section 31 used to employ the use of a tactical AI. Its primary function was strategic analysis. It would even make recommendations for strategic operations during the decision-making process. Its official designation was control. Now, as the program assimilated more information, it gained a degree of sentience and decided that ultimately all sentient life in the galaxy was a threat to it. Now, the details of how that situation played out are still classified, Doctor, and frankly, you don't need to know. However, I mention this to you because preliminary scans of the facility data attacked revealed the same algorithms in his positronic matrix, so you need to know what you're up against. Now, there's a ship waiting for you moored at Docking Bay 5. You are familiar with the design? Though it's been upgraded with the very best we have to offer, on board, you'll find all the tools you need to deal with the situation. We're trusting you, Doctor. Good luck. With that, Sloane simply vanished after Bashir blinked, leaving him alone with the android. Well, I guess we better go pick up Grandpa. Computer, locate Admiral Jean-Luc Picard. Admiral Picard is in Recreation Room C. The computer responded instantly. Just how do I get myself into these situations? Bashir whispered to himself as he grabbed a kukulaka and headed for the door. Under the umbrella of incurable mental patients that Starbase 22 housed was the Institute for Genetic Aberration. Dr. Bashir had requested this posting after his tour of duty aboard Deep Space Nine to keep an eye on specific patients that he'd grown fond of. Among them were three genetically altered humans, Jack, Patrick, and Lauren, who had undergone a similar procedure to Dr. Bashir's in their youth. However, theirs went awry, and they suffered unforeseen side effects, resulting in hyperneuroses and delusions, ultimately leading to severe antisocial behavior. The three augmented humans were in Recreation Room C. Lauren was laying on a table, posing suggestively for the inhabitants, though no one really seemed to notice, as most of the patients were preoccupied with their own delusions or hallucinations. Patrick was playing chess with Admiral Picard and losing intentionally, simply due to the fact that he enjoyed playing games and wanted the company. Jack was pacing back and forth, hovering around Patrick and Admiral Picard as they played. Hmm. <laughs> Picard, Picard, Picard. Where do I know that name from? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, yes, 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 yes. You would have us believe that you're the great, vaunted Admiral Picard, hmm? Captain of the Enterprise, uh, saved us from the Borg, and ne negotiated the Cardassian Treaty from your, 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 your great and prestigious family, hmm? The, 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 the Picards who fought at Trafalgar, uh, the Picards who, 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 who settled the first Martian colonies, hmm, hmm, hmm? Yet, yet, you, 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 you completely gloss over Javier Marabona Picard, hmm? The barbaric general working for the Spanish government who slaughtered thousands of Native Americans, hmm, hmm, hmm? In New Mexico, you know, that guy did a lot of raping. Picard seemed to be in a trance, completely unfazed by Jack's verbal assaults and attempts to goad him. Patrick looked up from the chessboard at Picard. <laughs> it's your turn. Jack quickly paced over, grabbed the queen, and slammed it down into the middle of the game board. Queen to queen's level three, game over. Now answer me, Picard. Think you're so fucking great? Mm -hmm. Patrick put his face into his hands and ran away crying. <laughs> Jack seemed pleased at this, as he wasn't getting a rise out of the Admiral. The doors to the recreation room swooshed open as Bashir and Lore entered. Patrick came running up to Bashir, a grinning smile on his face, his eyes transfixed on the bear Akukalaka that Bashir was carrying. Ooh, you brought the bear! 
Bashir smiled and freely handed the bear over to Patrick, without realizing that the pad Sloane had given him was underneath. <laughs> Here you go, Patrick. Patrick grabbed the bear without hesitation, cradling it as he waddled away. Bashir and Lore approached Picard, but only made it about half of the way before they were accosted by Jack. Ah, good morning, dear doctor. Dear doctor, good morning to you and your pale-faced friend. Ah, ah, see, I've been working on those social graces. What do you think? Hmm, hmm, hmm? Much more amicable, wouldn't you say, dear doctor? Hmm? Bashir politely responded. Ah, yes, um, good morning, Jack. Um, yes, that's very good. Um, but I'm afraid I don't really have time for that right now. Um, I really must speak with Admiral Picard. Jack's eyes grew in a furious intensity. Oh, Picard, Picard, Picard. Everyone wants to talk to Picard. He's not that fucking great, you know. He said before storming away. Bashir and Lore continued towards Picard as Bashir shrugged off Jack's attitude. Bashir took a seat opposite Picard. Good morning, Jean-Luc. How are you feeling today? Picard's trance seemed to shift as he made eye contact with the doctor. Darmok on the ocean. Lore's face took on a puzzled expression. The fuck? Picard stared angrily at Lore and continued. Sukkot, his face black, his eyes red. Bashir turned to Lore and tried to explain. He's speaking to Marian, most likely a result of his advanced aeromotic syndrome. He's reliving and reinterpreting different aspects and periods of his life. He could be any version of himself or any derivative of that at any given time. Lore's puzzled expression morphed into a beaming smile of pure delight. So he's fucking nuts! <laughs> this is too good! I always imagined if the senile fool got any older, he'd end up in the nuthouse mumbling to himself and shitting in his pajamas. But this is too good! Bashir did his best to dismiss Lore's glee as he collected the admiral. We're going on a little trip to visit a friend of yours, Bashir said. Picard seemed dazed and confused as Bashir helped him up. I know that. I'm not an invalid. Picard exclaimed while getting to his feet. The three of them made their way out the door. As soon as it swooshed shut, Patrick ran over to Jack, handing over the pad, but retaining the bear for dear life. Jack's eyes scanning the data on the pad with lightning speed. Patrick looked towards Jack, his eyes filled with fear. Jack, what are we going to do? Jack turned to Patrick and smiled, gripping him by the shoulders. Not to worry, dear Patrick, dear Patrick, not to worry, because I have a plan. 